Greetings, friends at Temple B'nai Shalom. This is Pastor Keasley from Abiding Presence Lutheran Church coming to you from my backyard. Like all of you, we are staying at home. And I wanted to take a moment in the midst of these uncertain times to wish you a happy Passover. As you celebrate Passover this week, your friends at Abiding Presence are thinking about you we are holding you in our hearts and we are sending our Passover greetings. We are celebrating Holy Week this week as well. And tomorrow night is Monday Thursday and we will gather not at the church this year, but in our homes around our dinner tables. And we will read the Passover story from Exodus. And when we do, Rabbi Perlin will join us virtually to help us understand that story to teach us about the Passover tradition and to help us learn from you how to bring the tradition of our faith into our homes. She will teach us that in Jewish tradition, the home is always seen as a small sanctuary. This is something that we Christians are having to learn suddenly in the midst of the crisis that is happening in our world. So we are grateful to be able to learn from you. We are drawing strength from the fact that you have been celebrating Passover in your homes for generations. And we are hoping that we can figure out how to celebrate our faith traditions in our homes too. So tomorrow night, as we sit around our tables and you sit around yours, I hope that we will all be reminded that we are joined together in this time. We are staying at home but we are still community, and we have been grateful for our relationship with Temple B'nai Shalom for over 30 years. And this year, we are more grateful than ever. At Abiding Presence right now, we are talking a lot about how we are abiding together during this time. That's our tagline. And we are grateful to be abiding together with you this week. So happy Passover, friends at B'nai Shalom. I am looking forward to that time when we will all be able to gather together for Thanksgiving Eve. I can't wait to swap our stories about how we made it through this season and know that this week especially, you are in my heart and on my mind and being held in my prayers. Take care, stay well.